I'm sorry, what? I said it was typical. Typical of you, Rachel Green. Queen Rachel does whatever she wants in the little Rachel land. While it's been over 15 years since we last saw Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt as a couple, their romance is definitely one for the history books. Although the couple was only together for seven years and married for five, their A-list relationship did not end with their divorce in 2005. Between their $1 million wedding, his guest appearance on Friends, and their iconic reunion in 2020, here is everything you need to know about Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston's relationship. So, let's get started. 1994, a casual meeting. Unlike their romance, their first meeting was quite casual. The pair met sometime in 1994 via their managers, who happened to be friends. He was just this sweet guy from Missouri, you know? Jen told Rolling Stone in 2001, a normal guy. 1998, the first date. Their relationship wouldn't turn romantic until their first date four years later. Brad had just broken up with actress Gwyneth Paltrow and Jennifer called it quits with actor Tate Donovan, prompting their managers to set up a date. In 2004, Jen later told Diane Sawyer that the evening was really easy and the date was really fun. July 29, 2000, the wedding of the year. The biggest celebrity wedding of 2000 was undoubtedly Brad and Jen's summer nuptials. The couple wed on a bluff overlooking the Pacific Ocean in Malibu in front of 200 guests. Brad wanted the private estate venue to look like a zen garden, so he ordered 50,000 roses, wisteria, tulips, and lotus flowers. A flawless bride, Jen wore a glass beaded, low-back wedding gown by Lawrence Steele, and the newlyweds danced to the way you look tonight. The over-the-top affair, complete with a 40-person gospel choir, lobster meal, champagne, and a Melissa Etheridge performance, ended with a 13-minute fireworks show, and cost the couple roughly $1 million. November 22, 2001. Guest starring on Friends. The couple acted alongside each other in 2001, when Brad made a guest appearance on Jen's hit sitcom Friends. The episode, called The One with the Rumor, aired on November 22, 2001, and Brad's character actually hated Rachel Green, who was famously played by his wife. February 1, 2003. Is he the love of her life? When asked if Brad was the love of her life during Jennifer's cover interview for W Magazine in 2003, she responded with, Is he the love of my life? I think you're always sort of wondering, are you the love of my life? I mean, I don't know, I've never been someone who says, he's the love of my life. He's certainly a big love in my life, she told the publication. And I know that we have something special, especially in all this chaos. In this nutty, brilliant, wonderful, hard business that we have, it's nice to have somebody who's anchored and knows you, really knows all of you. January 7, 2005. An unfortunate separation. After a nearly five-year marriage and seven-year relationship, Brad and Jennifer announced their split to people on January 24, 2005. The statement read, we would like to announce that after seven years together, we have decided to formally separate. For those who follow these sorts of things, we would like to explain that our separation is not the result of any of the speculation reported by the tabloid media. This decision is the result of much thoughtful consideration. We happily remain committed and caring friends with great love and admiration for one another. We ask in advance for your kindness and sensitivity in the coming months. March 25, 2005. Filing the paperwork. Jennifer filed for divorce from Brad on March 25, 2005. September 2005. Jen addresses the divorce. While Brad began to flaunt his relationship with actress Angelina Jolie immediately after announcing his separation with Jennifer, the Friends star didn't address the divorce until September 2005. She told Vanity Fair at the time, Am I lonely? Yes. Am I upset? 
Yes. Am I confused? Yes. Do I have my days when I've thrown a little pity party for myself? Absolutely. But I'm also doing really well. Relationships are two people. Everyone is accountable. A lot goes into a relationship coming together, and a lot goes into a relationship falling apart. She'd say, even if it's 98% the other person's fault, it's 2% yours, and that's what we're going to focus on. You can only clean up your side of the street. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston's remarkable relationship story. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more engaging content like this.